Hi, my name is Leanne Hadley, and I am the person leading the book study God's Web, um, where we are looking at connection. What is it to have deep connections? And we're using the book Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown, and we're using her model in the back of the book, um, which is called, I want to get this right, A Grounded Theory on Cultivating Meaningful Connection. So um, this is the part of her book. It's clear in the back here, page 255 where we're starting and then we're going to decide what we're going to do with the first part of this book later so anyway this book is a gym we love it and we have lots of women and men participating in our book study and I'm so glad that you're here today is part two and today we're going to focus on the part of this which is called developing grounded confidence so to cultivate meaningful connections she talks about three skill sets that we need to work on and um, the first of the three are developing grounded confidence confidence and so that's what we're going to talk about this week at the book study so if you missed it or if you're just joining us um, you'll be all caught up for week three which is next week so um, glad that you're here I want to start with our overriding scripture that we're using for this study and um, it is from Ecclesiastes and it says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil if they fall one will lift up the other but woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. So when we talk about cultivating meaningful relationships, we're moving from relationships, we're just kind of parallel with people in the world and finding those people that we can go into a deep spiritual space with. And then of course, the threefold cord would include God in that. So hopefully this is a friend that you can hold sacred space with and together um, grow not only emotionally, but spiritually as well. Um, Brene Brown talks about the same thing that the scripture talks about in her uh, definition of a grounded theory on cultivating meaningful relationships. She, she, um, this is her definition of connection. She says, connection is the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued, when they give and receive without judgment, and when they derive sustenance and strength from the relationship. So it's those deep connections that we're trying to build um, that we all need in our lives, that we all deserve in our lives. And so this book study is just kind of reminding us that not only do we deserve these, but that we can have an active part in finding those. Um, today, the, the part that we're focusing on is this, um, the first part, grounded confidence. Basically, what grounded confidence is, is it is the ability to be in your body, to be fully present in your body, with your body, and with another person, and to see these relationships as opportunity for growth, rather than being attacked or having, um, the, rather than seeing people's input as like criticism or something like that. It's just like to understand that we're together and we're going to get to know each other and we're going to go deeper together. I'm not going to judge you. You're not going to judge me. We're just going to be together. That's what grounded confidence is. And um, I was thinking um, the beginning of grounded confidence is to understand two things. One is that it's uncomfortable to grow and we like to, we like comfort better than growth. So we got to let go. We got to be like, you know what? I'm willing to go into some uncomfortable situations because those help me grow. The second thing that we need to remember, um, well, Brene tells us we need to remember, is that um, that grounded confidence comes when we um, are willing to admit that we are not perfect. So if you want to wear a facade of perfection and you want everyone to think that you're perfect, then you're not going to be able to be grounded in your confidence because you're going to be wearing a mask all the time. So basically, grounded confidence is where we take the mask off and we're fully present with each other. Um, the Bible story that I wanted to use for this week is the story of Adam and Eve and the fall. You're familiar with this story, I'm sure. And um, in our story, it says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. The serpent said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? And then they have a conversation, and the woman eventually eats the fruit, and then she gives some to Adam, who is with her, and so now they've made a huge mistake. And um, when they 
when they're when they become self-conscious and aware they sew leaves together and they make outfits for themselves and then when God comes and says what have you done instead of saying we made a mistake we're imperfect they hide and I think this is sort of what the opposite of grounded confidence is. Grounded confidence in Adam and Eve would have been to say, we made a big mistake and we're sorry. They would have run to God and said, we're sorry, we made a mistake. But instead, they try to cover themselves and they hide. And God is disappointed in them and they are disappointed in themselves. So grounded confidence um, is the opposite of what happened there in the garden. It's where we say, I'm not perfect, and I'm not gonna cover that up, and I'm not gonna pretend like it's not here. I'm not gonna hide from you because I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna hide behind perfection. I'm not gonna hide behind the mask that I make. That's what grounded confidence is. And so um, for all of us who are um, human, it's in human nature to hide and to act like we're something that we're not. Nobody likes to be flawed. Nobody likes to say they're imperfect. And so it takes courage to be yourself and to be authentic in the world. Um, Renee talks about seven things that will help us to, to grow in our grounded confidence. The first thing is knowing and applying the language of human experience and emotion. So um, that's what the first half of this book is all about. It's about knowing that um, there are words that we can use to help express ourselves and to be present. And we need to know those words and we need to use our words. So uh, step number one in finding a better way to be grounded is to use our words and to not hold them inside, but to trust that we have something to say and say it without apology. Um, the second thing is that we have to practice courage because we all get scared of being authentic with other people. We're all afraid of our own vulnerability. And so we gotta be brave while we do this work. The third thing that she suggests, she calls it rumbling with vulnerability. And that means just letting your vulnerability be. Don't fight against it. Don't say, oh, I'm feeling weak. I should be feeling this. I should be feeling this. If I only did this, just sit with it. We're all vulnerable. It's part of what being human is. So rumble with your vulnerability. The fourth thing is to stay curious. So when somebody says something that causes you to back off or to feel attacked or um, to question yourself, instead of going, instead of retreating, you lean into it and you say, tell me more, I want to learn this. Because maybe what you feel like is, a, is an attack, it might just be their opinion and you can learn from their opinion. You might not even need to change. So stay curious, it's important to staying strong and centered. If you see every feedback, every piece of information that comes to you as an attack, it's very hard to stay in your own body and stay grounded. So stay curious. The fifth one is to practice humility. Uh, many of us don't need to practice humility. Um, being humble is to say, I don't know everything and I don't have all the answers and I have something to learn. And so in that space, it's easier to stay curious and it's easier to stay present and it's easier to be authentic. You're not pretending to know everything, so stay humble. Uh, the next one is to commit to mastery and practice. Um, as brave as we feel sometimes, as grounded as we feel sometimes. We backslide, we get out of that grounded space all the time. I can be feeling so confident and then one comment and I'm just off base. All of us, all of us do that, right? So um, she says that we have to practice it and we have to be committed to it. This isn't something that we're gonna do overnight to be, oh, I'm totally who I am, I'm just authentic. Um, we have spent a lot of years learning that wearing a mask makes life easier, that uh, maybe some of us even learned that we should wear masks you know when we were little um, and we would get upset somebody would say stop crying They'd get that off your face and you would have to like put on a mask of happiness we've been training to be to wear masks for a long time it's gonna take practice to take those off so she says commit to practicing and to and, and eventually um, commit to finding mastery every day and the last thing is to feel embodied 
um, in your body. Notice what your body is doing. So again, when somebody says something that threatens you or you start feeling insecure, your body reacts faster than your mind even processes. So if somebody says something that hurts my feelings, I coil away, or if I feel like, oh, I'm vulnerable, I tense up, your body is always sending you messages. So be aware of your body. Grounded confidence is where you are just comfortable, you're in your body, you're not reacting, your face isn't grimacing, you're just leaning forward, curious, listening, ready to receive whatever it is that this other person brings to you. And they're the same way. So um, that's what grounded confidence is. Uh, she gave us seven tips for how to kind of live into our grounded confidence. And um, we committed to trying grounded confidence for the week. So um, what you might want to do is if you have the Brene Brown book, you might want to look on this page, which is skill set number one, and you might want to look at that list of the seven things and note what you're good at and what you need to work on. And then rather than decide, I've got to work on all seven of these, or I've got to work on three of these, just choose one that you want to work on for the week. Um, so personally, I'm really good at using my words, but I'm not very good at saying them to the people who should be hearing the words that I'm using. And sometimes I, I call a girlfriend and I tell her, I talk to my bird, whatever it is, I'm venting, but I'm not using my words to the people that they would actually matter to. It's, it's, um, and it's unhealthy. So I am personally, for the week, gonna try to use my words and use them in appropriate places rather than vent sideways. That's what I'm gonna try to do. It's gonna take courage, it's gonna take commitment, and I don't even know if in a week I'm gonna be able to do it. So choose one thing that you wanna work on for the week and um, work on it. Um, for our closing today, I just want us to get grounded. So sit up tall, have your spine, you know, straight, your feet on the ground, and I want you to take three deep breaths, and as you do, blow out the tension and just see if you can relax your head, your shoulders, your arms, just relax. Are you ready? Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now really relax your shoulders, relax your head, relax your belly. Breathe in, breathe out. And just sit in this relaxed state for a few moments. Thank you. When you are actually operating out of this place of grounded confidence, you're relaxed. And I don't know about you, but as I did this exercise and I realized um, what a relaxed body feels like, I realized how much tension I carry every day. That's a symbol, it's a sign that maybe we're not as grounded and as confident as we think we are. So no shame, we're not perfect, we've got things to learn, um, it's gonna take practice, and um, let's just work a little bit this week at becoming a little bit more grounded in our confidence. Um, next week, we will be looking at the uh, second um, skill set, which is the courage to walk alongside others. So I'll see you this week for the book study. And um, you deserve relationship. We all do. And we're all looking for connection. And I hope that together, and we can discover ways that we can be better connected. If you need anything, please reach out. My name is Leanne Hadley, and um, my, you can find me at leanne at ccum.net. Thanks, I'll talk to you soon. I'm glad that you're here.